Greetings guys, it is Stokecraft. Finally, we are back doing another subscriber replays episode. And today we are featuring Yogurt Boy, one of my closest Platoon Mate friends, and the T54E1. If you guys have uh, looked at my channel recently, you know that Yogurt was in the last episode of subscriber replays as well. And this time we sent him a really awesome replay. So we haven't done this in a while as you could see. I don't know how long it's been, but it's been a while. Um, the reason for that is that I didn't really get sent in replays of new player, new yeah viewers on my channel because I do want to feature as many uh, yeah, different v viewers on my channel as possible to give everyone a chance to get a spotlight on my channel. But I didn't get sent in as many replays from new viewers. I did get sent in a few from Yogurt and a few from Bob as usual, which I might be doing an episode of in the future still. But I just had to cover this replay because it was something uh, from a higher tier and something that I've never seen before. Because I've never actually looked that much at replays from the T54E1. So now I finally get the chance and also to feature it on the channel which is nice. As you can see I don't have my face cam enabled at the moment. And that is because I decided uh, that I would turn off my face cam in videos in which the gameplay is the thing that is important um, in videos that I make. Preferably for entertainment like the, the convoy uh, video of course I will turn on my face cam But this video as I feel is a lot more serious than that So as we can see the T54E1 gets a clip of four shells It is the tier 9 American medium tank with the lot loader It gets 210 millimeters of penetration and as you can see the four shells with the 390 alpha damage really nice alpha damage for a yeah medium tank of course as we can see also a very good clip pot uh, blip, clip potential of 1560 average damage per clip which is really nice also the reload time is not too bad as you can see i have no idea what it is like exactly because of course it doesn't show me the time it takes to the the gun to reload and I don't know what kind of crew skills Yogurt has and if he has got anything like, uh, yeah, how is it called, vents and gun rammer installed on this tank. Oh no, you can't mount gun rammer on the auto loader. What a stupid guy I am. Well, does it matter? What is the speciality of an auto loading tank? The speciality of an auto loading tank is to be able to isolate tanks and just being able to clip them. And that is something we're going to see right now. As you can see, this T54 Mod 1 is in the middle here. With a 1560 uh, average clip potential, he's easily going to be able to take down this T54 Mod 1, even if Yogurt rolls low. So let's see how he handles this. He puts some good shots into the T54 E1, and then he aims at the Fosh for some reason. I don't really know that. And because of that, he doesn't get away in time, and he gets hit for, your, yeah, for a few unnecessary hits. Hopefully, he's not going to need that health later on in the game. But still, good result. 1300 damage on the T54 Mod E1. Mod E1? Mod 1. Good stuff. He's reloading again. He's almost done reloading. As you can see, the CDC is right there. But he has to be careful because the Fosh is probably somewhere still up in the top left corner. Or top uh, down right corner of the map. What am I saying, guys? I don't even know. It's been a busy week of school, so I am pretty tired. But I did have to make a video about this because this was just awesome also the cdc as you can see has just had enough of life really no idea why he would ever want to do that but still he gave yogurt some nice <laughs> free damage as i would say a thing that i really liked yogurt doing there is he turned the tank um, together with the movements of the cdc so that he made sure that he bounced a shot from him which is nice so he's reloading again and if he's reloaded, he will be able to take down the Fosh with a full clip as well. But as you can see, his team is also rushing towards the Fosh. He's probably not going to get all the damage from this Fosh. But hopefully he's going to be able to engage him cleanly as he doesn't have that many hit points left. He's under half health. How's he going to do this? He shoots him. The Fosh gets tracked. Don't know if it is by Yogurt or by the T54 mod on his team. And Yogurt puts three shots into him, which is nice. He's got one shot left. And because Yogurt has to uh, drive towards the enemy tanks that are still left in the city. It is going to take him time to get there. And that's why he goes for a reload. Really good choice in my opinion. So now he's going to be able to have a full clip ready when he arrives. 
at the location of the i6 and the Waffentrager Panzer IV. As you can see, the mobility of the T-54E1 is not the greatest of any medium tanks. But also, it's not the worst. It's not the quickest, as you can see. Um, but it still gets a very good autoloader. You have to at least turn in something for an autoloader, right? So, Waffentrager, RT, and uh, IS-6 are left here right now. Yogurt is reloaded. And he's just going to go in now because, yeah, well, nothing to lose, really. Nice shot into the side of the IS-6. And he's going to take the last kill with him. Unfortunately, he will not be able to get any more of the damage uh, on the artillery. But really nice replay, Yogurt. It was really nice to see... Uh, that the T-54 mod 1, uh, T-54 mod 1, I'm saying it again, T-54 E1 is still alive on the battlefield. And it is a really beautiful tank to look at in my opinion. And a tank that I quickly going to have to pick up myself because that auto loader just looks insane. Guys, let's take a look at his post-game statistics. Really good to see that you got such a nice result in the T-54 E1. An ace tanker and high caliber for 6k damage is never a bad thing, eh? The battle wasn't played flawlessly, but the replays that you send in don't have to be flawless at all. I just want my viewers to get a chance to get featured on my channel. So if that sounds good to you, and you want to send in a replay, I'll see you in the screen right now what you need to do to send in your replays. As said, the replay doesn't need to be anything extraordinary, but the better the replay, the quicker I probably will feature it on the channel. For now that's been this subscriber replays episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and if you did, please leave a like as I did put a lot of time into making this video. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.